Not your keys, not your coins. Times like these have highlighted the importance of storing your cryptocurrency in a wallet where you have full control over your private keys. If you're frequently sending or receiving, then the most secure way to manage your crypto is with a hardware wallet. Everyone has probably heard of Ledger or Trezor, but today I'm going to be looking at a lesser known contender called the IMKEY Pro. It's a battery powered hardware wallet by IMTOKEN, a company whose mobile wallet has accrued substantial market share in Asia. The IMKEY Pro has been integrated with the IMTOKEN app and the two communicate via Bluetooth connection. Coming in at a price of 109 US dollars, the IMKEY Pro sits slightly higher than the $72 Trezor Model 1 or the $79 Ledger Nano S Plus. But it does offer the premium Bluetooth feature that is only obtainable with the Ledger Nano X at $149. Trezor has no such capability, even in its $255 Model T. For this video, I purchased the IMKEY Pro set, which for an additional $30, comes with a leather case and a steel backup kit for the wallet seed. An identical product called the Bill Foddle is being sold at $99 by Ledger. So I think the IMKEY offering is very good value. My order arrived in a branded IMKEY box with security seals so that you can tell if it's been tampered with. Inside we find the steel backup kit, the leather case, and finally, the IMKEY Pro itself. The box for the hardware wallet, again, has security seals, and when opening it, you smell the same aroma of a new Apple product. You get the hardware wallet, which utilizes a micro USB port, as well as a micro USB to USB-A cable. Personally, I would have preferred both ends to be USB-C, as that is the standard everyone is moving toward. But it doesn't really matter, as this is a Bluetooth device. The included documentation guides you through the setup process, and there's also two cards that you can write your wallet seed on. I found the design of the IMKEY Pro to be quite interesting, given that it is vastly different to the Trezor and Ledger products that I have experience with. It's the same shape as bank cards that would fit in your wallet, although it's smaller in size. Therefore, you can't really store it in there because it falls deep into the slot and it's hard to remove. I guess that's why they ship it with their own leather case which does fit the IMKEY Pro snugly, and it lets you carry additional cards that are of the traditional size. When compared to Ledger and Trezor models, from a top-down perspective, the IMKEY Pro basically takes up the same footprint as the Trezor Model T. But when you look at it on the side profile, that's where things are really put into perspective. The IMKEY Pro is incredibly thin in comparison to these other hardware wallets. I seriously don't know how the IMKEY team crammed in the battery, a screen, the Bluetooth antenna, as well as physical buttons in this wafer-thin housing. Setting up the device is a straightforward process if you've dealt with hardware wallets before. To begin, you'll need to install the IMTOKEN app that is available for both Android and Apple devices. The app will first ask you to create a new identity, which is just a new multi-coin wallet. After backing up the seed, you'll gain access to the main interface of the app. Keep in mind that this wallet is separate to the hardware wallet and its private keys are actually stored on your phone. I would have preferred if they gave us the ability to disable this wallet or just not create it in the first place as I don't see IMKEY users needing it and it only adds unnecessary confusion. To pair the IMKEY with the IMTOKEN app, tap the menu in the top left, tap manage, and then scroll down and select Pairing to IMKEY Hardware Wallet. With your IMKEY device powered on, the phone will find it over Bluetooth. Enter the pairing code, and then the IMKEY will display a binding code. You should write this one down with your seed phrase. As far as I'm aware, this security feature is unique to the IMKEY Pro, and it prevents it from being used with new devices unless you can provide this code. With that backed up, you'll then need to set a PIN code and create a new wallet. This is the same process that you go through earlier, where you simply scroll through the seed words and verify them after. After this, the IMKEY will begin creating the wallets, and that process takes a few minutes. This is a good time to back up your seed phrase with the steel backup kit, if you bought that. I found this process extremely tedious, but you've got to do it to ensure greater protection of your funds. Basically, you just punch out the first four letters of each seed word, and then align them in the corresponding slot. 
This combination is unique and can be cross-referenced against the BIP39 word list if you need to recover your wallet in the future. When you're done inserting the letters, the case snaps shut and can even be padlocked through the hole in the top for additional security. Looking back to the iMkey Pro, the device should now be successfully paired with your phone. Through the settings, you can turn on support for a bunch of different cryptocurrencies. Pretty much all the major names are supported, as well as tokens on these networks. I played around with sending and receiving a bunch of coins like Tron, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash. When sending transactions, you'll need to sign it and confirm from the device. But when receiving, you can just copy addresses straight out of the app, no verification required. It all worked as you would expect it to, and I didn't encounter any problems. The app gives notifications when a new transaction is received, which is good, although transactions do not appear until they have received a confirmation on the blockchain. Another thing I liked was that when I sent some ERC20 tokens to the Ethereum address, they were automatically detected and the app actually prompted me to add them to my list of displayed tokens. There are some things I'd like to see improved, which would make the IMKey far more useful, the first being the ability to get XPUBs for your Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash wallets. This should be pretty trivial to add, and the BTC wallet does currently allow you to create fresh addresses, although you can't do this on Bitcoin Cash. We are stuck with a single address on other coins like Ethereum too. This is fine for basic users, but if you need multiple addresses for various needs, it's currently unattainable. In addition to this basic functionality, the I'm Token app has several advanced features built in that are mostly centered around Ethereum. On the market page, you can view the coin market cap rankings, check the price of coins, and create a list of your favorites. There is also coin swapping functionality built in, Although when I tested it, there were abnormally high fees to perform these transactions, and therefore I just avoided it altogether. If you wanna do coin swaps, then I recommend using sideshift.ai. You won't get hit by the high fees. You can send coins or tokens that are not on Ethereum, and it can all be done seamlessly on your phone. There is another page within I'm Token called Browser, and this basically has a bunch of popular DeFi and DApp websites listed within it. You can go to websites like Uniswap and it automatically connects to your wallet, thereby allowing you to perform swaps and other functions on these websites. With this, it is unclear why they have coin swapping functionality on the market page, which is vastly inferior. A major feature of the IMKey Pro, which makes it quite unique in comparison to competitors, is that it has support for several Ethereum virtual machines built right into the app. By selecting your Ethereum wallet and then tapping on the drop-down menu at the top, you'll be able to choose from Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Avalanche, and Smart BCH, just to name a few. Normally this sort of functionality is not natively supported in the software of hardware wallets. You have to use third-party software like MetaMask. So I was pretty impressed by this and I made sure to test it out extensively. The first thing I did was bridge Matic tokens from Ethereum over to Polygon. Dapps outside of the IM token app have no problem communicating with it through Wallet Connect. You perform functions such as sending coins and it will automatically open IM token for you to sign the transaction with your IM key device. It all went through successfully and then shortly after, I had a balance in my Polygon wallet within IM token. I then got myself some BNB on Binance Smart Chain and sent that around to some other wallets before bridging it over to Smart BCH. Here I played around with Misswap, a DEX on Smart BCH, and bought myself a few different tokens. I then went a step further by creating a liquidity pool between BCH and Law tokens, after which I staked the LP tokens in a farm. One thing that's awesome about I'm Token app is that by going to the DeFi tab, it will display your staked coins across various platforms. This is something that's not even available in MetaMask, and I think it would be great if you could harvest farms from within I'm Token as well. As for NFTs, this is not something that's currently supported on any networks other than Ethereum, in which you'll find an NFT tab. I don't have any NFTs on Ethereum, and therefore I cannot report on any of the functionality in that area. I did send a smart BCH NFT to my address, and I was able to add it to my list of tokens, but I couldn't send it anywhere else from within I'm Token. For this, you'll have to rely on a third party like Oasis.cash or OpenSea NFT marketplaces. These utilize Wallet Connect and they will allow you to better manage and view your NFTs. By now, 
based on what I've shown you, you've probably already worked out that the IMKEY Pro is a hardware wallet very much focused on mobile use. In fact, you can't really use it with PCs at all. They provide software called IMKEY Manager that you can connect your wallet to, but unfortunately, it's really only used for updating the device firmware. There's also a DeFi page, which appears to be just a built-in web browser, and it lets you go to Ethereum sites like Uniswap. I tried to use this, but it didn't really work. The fact that it's there, however, would indicate that perhaps this is something being worked on by the IMKEY developers, and we may get greater PC functionality with this hardware wallet in the future. It would be good if we could just do basic sending and receiving of coins on PC as well. On the topic of IMKEY software, they do claim that their software is open source. However, I struggled to find a link to the code on their website. After emailing them and asking about this, they sent me a link to their GitHub repo in which I found code for the core program, which is the software that runs on the hardware wallet device. If IMKEY want to improve trust within the crypto community and with their customers, I'd say this is an area that needs a great deal of improvement in terms of documentation. All in all, I've greatly enjoyed my time with the IMKEY Pro, a hardware wallet unlike anything I've used before. I'm not a huge fan of mobile devices, and I would say I'm primarily a PC user. But given this wallet's mobile focus, I found myself interacting with familiar websites in unfamiliar ways, and it was a positive experience. The native support for various DeFi networks was great, and I think just in general, this hardware wallet supports a lot of coins and tokens that competitors do not. So, if you want a wide range of assets that can all be managed through the one interface, this may be the wallet for you. Bluetooth functionality was also a standout feature to me. Not needing to carry around a cable and constantly fiddle with connections was game changing. I honestly didn't realize how much I loathe cables until I used the IMKEY Pro. The device form factor is impressive and it's easy to carry around. Additionally, over the course of a week and hours of extensive use each day, I only had to charge the device once toward the end of the week. If you're a person who is constantly out of the office or traveling around, the IMKEY Pro will provide you with a great deal of convenience in managing your crypto assets without sacrificing security. This is the specific niche of users who I think the IMKEY Pro is suited to right now. If the developers of IMKEY can take on board criticisms and feedback I've given in this video, and of course, implement improvements and changes, then I believe that they can attract the interests of all crypto users. Well, that's all for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos later this week.